percentage over the period of time how prices have grown in, in general form like a basket of goods if it was previously purchased at $100 now it is going to be purchased at $120 so it means 20% more money is required to buy the same number of goods and services so prices have increased by some amount which is showing us now the same basket of goods is required to be purchased at more dollars than before okay so today how to measure inflation that is a topic by which method we will be able to measure inflation so usually we use uh, price indices different price indices like consumer price index consumer price index price index it is also called cpi or another name of the same index can be retail price index what it is retail price index that is called rpi here in both the cases we are taking the retail prices of the consumer items like the basket of goods is including the consumer goods all the things which are daily used items like uh, you can say edible oil onions potatoes milk tea the daily used items and many other things which are not even the daily use but they are used by the consumers they are included in this index around about 400 commodities or more than 400 commodities in our country they are included in the consumer price index or retail price index their retail prices the retail prices means what their prices at which they are sold to the final consumers they are called the retail prices by single unit they are sold to the final consumers they are called uh, the retail prices another index which is also used in order to make, keep in mind CPI or retail price index uh, they are measured annually on annual basis we measure uh, the retail price index there can be wholesale price index wholesale price index is including the prices at wholesale that we know the wholesalers they are selling their goods in bulk so their prices are lower than the prices which are the retail prices so we find over here that the retail prices they are measuring the retail price index whereas the wholesale prices they are going to measure the wholesale price index so when wholesale prices are going to increase what is going to happen in that case the cost push inflation is arising in that country okay so we see over here that retail prices they are measuring the consumer price index whereas the wholesale prices they are going to measure the wholesale price index is if this is called whole sale price index if wholesale price index is increasing that means there is going to be cost push inflation and if cpi is increasing and wholesale price index is not increasing that means there is going to be Uh, demand for inflation. The, this is uh, going to be a distinction. When wholesale prices are increasing, that means the cost of production that might have increased. That's why we say the wholesale price index is increasing, and that is representing a uh, cause of inflation. That is uh, 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 that is called what the cost push inflation. Okay. So in case of retail price index, we are measuring. the when it is on only the retail price index is increasing and wholesale prices are not increasing so this is representing that there is demand for inflation and if retail prices are increasing due to increase in wholesale prices then we say this is going to be a cost push inflation okay another thing which is going to be another index that is called sensitive price index sensitive price 
in dash this is called spi this is wpi okay spi means sensitive price index it is including 65 items of daily use which are used by everyone on daily basis these are the kitchen items which are of daily use and this sensitive price index is measured fortnightly that after every two weeks like i say the first 15 days of december government has collected the data of the prices of the first two weeks of december and they have measured what the sensitive price index so that within these two weeks of this month of december how much prices have changed for the daily use items so when sensitive price index is going to increase that means the daily use items they are becoming expensive and they are affect directly affecting the cost of living of both rich and poor people so when poor people they are going to face that their daily use items they are becoming more expensive more expensive then their cost of living will be increasing and they will be facing their real income to decrease or purchasing power of money will be declining continuously uh, due to increase in sensitive price index anyhow first of all i have to define what is meant by index index number you have said you might have heard one name stock exchange index what do you mean by index index is basically an average number an average value when we talk about Yes, retail price index. We are taking the average values of the retail prices of all the goods which are included in our basket of goods. So, if that index number is growing over the period of time, that means it is going to have inflation in the country. And if that index number is going to decrease, so it means you know, we are going to have deflation in our country. Okay. First of all, index number. It is an average number. another thing which is very important in this case that is the selection of base year base year selection base year is that year in the past we chose it from the past years in which prices of all the goods throughout the year almost the basket of goods which we have chosen those goods prices have remained constant throughout the year That is called what a base year. When we take a basket of goods like 65 items, or we say the 400 commodities, majority of goods they have um, the their prices constant throughout the year. That year is called a base year. Suppose we say uh, we are using 2014 year as a base year in which prices uh, they were almost constant throughout the whole year. So we will be comparing the current year price level. with that base year if our current year price index is going to be higher than the base year index then we say there is going to be inflation in the country a base year base year retail price index is given a value of 100 if present year index retail price index is going above 100 that means how much it has uh, it has been above the 100 then we say there is uh, that rate of inflation like if current year uh, current year retail price index is 110 and base year index is 100 so how much is the change in index in current year with respect to base year that is 10% so we find that there is going to be 10% inflation in the present year or current year with respect to base year okay we also assign weights what do we mean by weights like this is a percentage of income spent on each commodity percentage of consumer income consumer income spent on spent on each good in the basket okay so we see over here that this is a weightage the percentage of income which is spent on each good in our basket of goods so that is our weights like low income people they are spending more proportion of their income on necessities necessity means 
the basic necessities of life which are essentials of living proportionately poor people or low income people they spend more part of their income on those necessities okay and rich people they are going to spend more proportion of their income on luxuries so according to according to the poor people or low income people they are going to spend more income on necessities so their weightage of necessities is higher than the rich people so the statisticians they take the average value how much is spent in the economy on food items like if this is the value of our national income out of that income how much is spent on food how much is spent on accommodation or shelter and how much is spent on clothing so that is the proportion of income which is spent and those weightages weightages weights are used in order to measure the take price index that due to changes in prices the weights are proportion of income spent on the commodities may also be changing as well which is going to have uh, an uh, effect on uh, the retail price index as well now weights are also assigned uh, to the commodities in our basket of goods now first of all i will be calculating the formula which is going to be used to measure the retail price index that is retail price index it is current year price current year price divided by base year price into weights into 100 okay so we see over here this is the formula for the measurement of retail price index we we are using current year prices in the in the numerator and base year price of the commodities in the denominator and then we multiply it by the weight assigned to that commodity and then we see it is multiplied by 100 as well so that will give us the retail price index then we add up the weighted indices and divide it by the total weights like weighted retail price index weighted retail price index will be sum of weighted index divided by sum of weights i will clarify it as i am going to calculate the rate of inflation today okay now i am taking the example of measuring <coughs> inflation which will make you understand how inflation is measured in the country by this method of retail price index suppose now i am going to take the basket of goods this is a base here how to measure inflation and writing this word over here how to measure inflation this is the point now retail price index we are measuring retail price uh, inflation by using retail price index method retail price index of base year suppose base year is year 2014 okay they are taking the basket of goods i'm taking four goods a b c and d for simplicity a denotes food b denotes clothes and then we see uh, it is the shelter c denotes shelter and this can be the transportation people are usually spending their money on transportation of themselves from one place to another so now here i am taking the prices suppose price of food on average that is 20 price of clothes that is 40 price of shelter that is 50 and here transportation that is having price tag maybe in dollars in any way you can write the prices okay now what are the weights okay we give index every every commodity in base year is given a 100 index how to calculate the 100 index use this formula retail price index current year price divided by base year price into 100 so when current year and base year they are the same one we use this price 20 over 20 into 100 What will be the base year index for commodity A that is hundred? 
Now, if what is the rate of inflation? Whatever the prices are present in the current in the base year, they are given hundred index that their daily price index will also be coming equal to hundred. Then we will compare it with the current year price. Now, clothing will also be given hundred index. This is also given hundred, and it is also given hundred. Here I am assigning weight. If a person is having ten dollar in his pocket, he is spending one out of ten on food. Like ten percent of income is spent on food, whereas thirty percent is spent on clothes and forty percent on shelter and remaining twenty percent that is spent on transportation. Now, what is the weighted index? We multiply weights. With the index which we have assigned to the commodities, that is hundred, three hundred, four hundred, and two hundred. Add them up. What it is? One thousand. So weighted retail price index is equal to sum of weighted index divided by Sum of weights. So, what is weighted index? One thousand divided by total weight that is ten. So, base year weighted index is hundred. What is the base year index? That is hundred. So, base year is given a hundred index. Then, in the current year, we will see whether this index value is going above hundred or below hundred. So, current year, current year. Retail price index. That is, we are taking year 2019 because 2020 is still on its way to complete. But 2019, how much is the retail price index? We take the same basket, and now we are taking the prices. And here I am taking index, and here weights, and then weighted index. Commodity A, B, C, and D. Now, four prices if they have reached to thirty in the current year. Four prices from twenty to thirty they have reached. So, what will be the retail price index? Current year price is thirty. Base year price was twenty. So, it is one fifteen index. That shows. That price of food that has increased by fifty percent as its index value has reached one fifty. So food prices they have grown by fifty percent, whereas the price of B that is cloth that moves on to fifty. So its current year price is fifty and base year price was forty. One twenty-five. So its price has increased by twenty-five percent in this year with respect to base year. So we have to take the average value. This is the inflation in food. This is inflation in clothes. And now come to our shelter. In case of shelter, the price has increased to sixty. So what will be the retail price index for uh, this shelter? What is current year price now? Sixty. Base year price was fifty into hundred. So you can find it one twenty. So its price has increased by twenty percent. Okay. Now, if I reduce the price of transport because one of the commodities having fall in prices, I say its price has been eight now instead of going above ten. I am taking it as eight. So how much prices have gone down? Eight over ten into hundred. So that will give us eighty. So its price is going below hundred. So its index is going going below hundred. That is eighty. It shows that its price has gone down as compared to the base year. I am using the same weights. One, three, four, and two. The previous year weights that is ten. Now multiply this 
This is 150 and this is how much? Three seventy five and now it is four zero four eighty and then it is one sixty. Okay. If we add them up, what will be the total value of eighteen index five six and then This is now, I think so, this is going to be 1165. This is our weighted index. If I am not wrong, yes. Okay, 1165. What is weighted retail price index? This is sum of weights, sum of weighted index divided by sum of weights. What is sum of weighted index? That is 1165 divided by 10. So it comes equal to 116.5. Crumb deer index, retail price index is giving us a value 116.5. How much is change in index? Change in index with respect to this base here. Base here index was 100. So if we see the difference, 116.5 minus 100 it gives us 16.5% inflation rate in year 2019 with respect to base year 2014 this is the main point how to see how much inflation has taken place when prices of three commodities they have increased Commodity A price was increased by 50%, Commodity B price was increased by 25%, Commodity C price was increased by 20%, whereas the price of D has gone down by 20%, but overall, overall increase in general price level is 16.5%. The same basket of goods which was purchased in $100 in 2006. 14, now it is purchased at 116.5 dollars so there is 16.5 percent inflationary pressure in our basket of goods this is how inflation can be measured in terms of retail price index you can also use if you are in most of the books these prices are not given only indices are given you can write over here a direct way of measuring inflation, if we use it, the same answer will be coming to us. Like price of commodity A that was increased by 50%. Okay. Price B was increased by 25%. Okay. Price of C was increasing by 20%. And this was decreasing by minus 20%. If you multiply that, this is 15%. Now this is 75%. And now it is 80%. And it is now minus 40%. So how much will be the value? This is 5 and 20. 2, 0 and 5 minus how much is the answer if you calculate it add this C 50, 75 this is going to be 125 and 18 this is 2, 0, 5 minus 40 that will give us 5 and ok 165% now divide 165% by the total weight that is 10 again we are getting the value 16.5% which is the answer in our previous case rather to subtract 100 a base here you can see prices of these goods they have increased by this percentage now we are directly getting 165% 
that is the weighted retail price index divided by the total weight of the basket of goods you will get directly the 16.5% uh, which is the inflation rate keep in mind these weights can be changed in the coming years because the proportion of spending that can also be varying as the prices are going to change okay now another thing what are the drawbacks of this retail price index this retail price index is taking the values of prices when they are increasing it does not show us improvement improvement in the quality of the products along with increasing prices although prices have increased but quality of the products that are also been improved and we have taken a very very simplified uh, values for a b c d commodities they take it as a food index there are 11 groups in retail price index like food prices who are they growing either uh, faster than the clothing prices or other computer items so by each group government can see in which area prices are increasing or decreasing and then overall inflation rate is 16.5 percent this can be misleading when data collection of the government officials they are at the different spots of the markets like they are collecting data in the area where prices are already very high like in the cantonment areas where rich people are living then the prices are high and if they are collecting the data from that area where the low income people are living then definitely their errors can be arising but still we use consumer price index or retail price index in order to measure the rate of inflation that's very important topic mostly we are given in mcqs the four commodities and their percentage changes in the prices and then we are asked to see how much is the change in price retail price index so we use this method uh, either way whichever uh, you like easy so that can be used okay so this is the main way how to calculate uh, this uh, retail price index in our as syllabus so do practice them at home you will be able to understand the importance of this method and then you will be calculating the inflation rate the commodities which you are you using in your kitchen items take the data of the last year prices of your kitchen items and then calculate the retail price index of your own daily used items you will see how much change has taken place uh, in this year how much prices have increased the sugar prices how much they have increased eggs prices and uh, vegetable prices meat items how have they been changed and you will see the prices they have increased more than the increase in earnings of the people then their real earnings the real purchasing power of money will be decreasing and most of the time the fixed earners the salaried people the pensioners those who are earning fixed in amount they are affected more due to inflation because their earnings are not increasing but prices of the basket of goods they are buying on daily basis they are increasing continuously Okay, so they also need incre increasing their real earnings in the form like if inflation is increasing by 16.5 percent, their incomes, the fixed earners should have increase in their incomes by the same amount as the prices have increased. Then their real purchasing power of income will be constant. And if their earnings are not increasing, rather the prices are increasing, then definitely the fixed earners they will be facing. A fall in their real income and fall in the purchasing power of income, whatever they are owning, or their incomes they are increasing by less proportion as the increase in prices, then definitely they will be again trapped into inflation spiral that prices are increasing faster than increasing their incomes. Anyhow, the traders and other uh, sectors of the economy, those who are not having fixed earners, they are not much affected by the changes in prices although they are also affected but if their earnings are also increasing along with the rate of inflation or even more than the rate of inflation they can be better off okay we will be doing the consequences of inflation tomorrow and then inflation topic will be over and then in the coming week we will be starting 
international trade inshallah taala so uh, do practice them at home and study them carefully and do practice them by calculating the inflation rate thank you